Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In case you have not noticed, my channel name has been changed to Tea Time. I've been wanting to change it for a little while, but thanks to my Nayo nieces, they came up with the name Tea Time, and I think it's quite appropriate for what I do and also kind of play on words. So Tea Time it is. I've been dying to try Rothy shoes. A few of my co-workers own them and they each own at least five pairs. The problem for me is that I cannot justify the cost. And so imagine my excitement when I receive these. These are by Vivea and I think you want to hear about them. Not only that, I also received these shoes and I think they're gonna blow Evelyn shoes out of the park. In today's video, I am going to compare Vivea shoes versus Evelyn and Rothy shoes. Sustainability is our future, you all. Even boxes of packaged should 100% recycle cardboard. Even if you don't care for it, it still feels good to do something right. These products typically cost more, so I am grateful Vivea has similar products as Rothy's for half the price. These are $79, while Rothy's is $145. Vivaya has a huge collection of these and I really had a hard time deciding which one I get. In the end, I settled for these in black because I do have a few pair of black bottoms that I think will go very well with them. Especially for the occasion that I want to look more polished but I don't want to bother with heels. Even though it is winter now, I do want to have a cute option to wear inside the home or outside if I can tolerate the cold. I really love the trimming here because you don't see that often and that turns a pair of otherwise plain shoes into something much more interesting. They are made from plastic bottles. Six bottles to be exact. I will be thinking about shoes next time I drink water out of the bottle now. What sold me about these shoes is also that they are machine washable. That is a plus. The bottom is made of natural rubber that comes from sap of a tree. The quality is really impeccable. I am no stranger to that type of scrutiny because that is actually what I do when I buy designer brands from a discount store. I inspect and compare. The stitching is perfect. There are no threads coming out. This smell nice. That must be the herbal product that I put in here. I've never smelled shoes before. I am only doing this because they mentioned about the odorizing insoles. This is awesome, you guys. Especially for those of you who have stinky feet, you know who you are. These shoes really surprised me. I wore them outside today to test them, and they are so comfortable. Considering they are a little large on me, they did not slip off my feet or cause any blisters either. Don't expect a sweater-like softness, but they are definitely softer than your standard non-leather fats. Oh, one more thing. These have anti-slippery outsoles, so yay for a clumsy person like me. Even with shipping costs, they are way cheaper than $145 you would pay for Rothy shoes. But no worry, Vivaya offers free shipping for purchases over $75 anyways. And free return is awesome because it is like shopping in the store but at the comfort of your home. I've been wanting to try Chelsea boots, but mostly for comfort because they are not tall. Look how sexy these are. But savvy as I am as a shopper, I need to compare to the similar sustainable brand like Evelyn. But as far as the knit one goes, Vivaya beats them. The price is very similar for those, but Vivaya has way more discount options. Evelyn high ankle boots similar to these just don't look good, you guys. If you have big calves like I do, they hit your calves at the wrong spot, make your leg look shorter and wider. The square toe is quite modern, but but not too modern that would make you feel weird. By the way, did you know that your shoe length is supposedly the length of your forearms? Just a cute little tidbit. Similar to the ballet flats, these retain shape and don't bunch up like the ones you see with Evelyn. The color is definitely much better than the color. I like my boots without socks, but I am not sure if these are meant to wear socks with them. So they may be better on the early days of winter when it's not so cold. I love trying on new brands and when they offer free shipping and return, it justifies me going out of my comfort zone. And I was pleasantly surprised that these shoes are available in so many places, Europe, Asia, North America, and Africa. Check their website for shipping time if you are going away from home. Up to this point, shoes are mostly for comfort necessity for me, but the more I do my fashion videos, the more I realize how important they are in making yourself look polished overall. 
When I advise making inexpensive purchases, I never meant to sacrifice quality. That is totally not what I do. I, I do love to source affordable and quality products and will continue to do so on my channel. Don't go away, it will get better and better.